everyone! I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to discuss veganism. And this is something that's coming up more and more as more people are becoming vegans, more people are incorporating vegan products into their diet, and even more vegan restaurants are popping up across the nation. And so it's something that I wanted to talk about because it is a lifestyle that can be healthy if you know what you're doing. And if you're intentional about getting the nutrients that you're prone to being deficient in. And just as a preface, so we're all on the same page, veganism is when you don't consume or use any animal products or any animal byproducts. So any parts of an animal or anything that comes from an animal you don't use or consume and you stay away from. So again, this can be a healthy lifestyle if you know what you're doing. So I'm here to educate you to make sure that you stay healthy and you're thriving on this diet and you're not just eating breads and pastas all the time, but you're getting a variety of foods in moderation. So that's the goal. So today I wanted to discuss um, seven nutrients that you're prone to be deficient in if you're a vegan. And they're nutrients that if you're intentional about getting them into your diet, then it's super easy. Um, again, you just have to know what you're doing and be intentional about getting these nutrients. Okay, so the first nutrient is B12. And vitamin B12 is super important in terms of metabolism, and it also helps with your nervous system. So when you're low in B12 or deficient in B12, then people tend to complain of balance issues, poor memory, um, they're tired a lot, and things like that. So, vegan products that contain vitamin B12 are non-dairy milks, non-dairy yogurt, meat substitutes, and fortified cereals. And this can't be made as a blanket statement. I'm going to say this several times in this video. You have to make sure to read your food labels. Don't just pick up almond milk assuming it's going to have B12 in it. But make sure to read the labels, look at the percentage, and go from there. So the second nutrient you need to be intentional about as a vegan is protein. And protein, as we all know, it helps build muscle and it helps us get through our daily activities. So if we don't have enough protein, then we're not thriving, we're not healthy. And I'm sure that's one of the first questions people who are vegans get is people ask, where do you get your protein from? And so I'm here to tell you you can get protein from a wide range of sources including legumes, things like quinoa and lentils, beans, which are legumes, um, pistachios, peanuts, and nuts and seeds, and also different types of meat alternatives and soy foods. And so again, protein isn't just available in animal products. It is also available in vegan products, just again being intentional about consuming it, which is important. And the next nutrient is calcium and this was important because it is found in green leafy vegetables it is found in fortified dairy products fortified non-dairy products and it's also found in tofu sesame seeds but the one thing to remember about calcium is that you shouldn't consume it with an iron rich food because they counteract each other's absorption so if you're trying to get your calcium, then lay off on the iron-rich foods and vice versa. And ideally, you would eat them a couple hours apart. And this particularly is the case when it comes to supplementation. If not that I'm advocating supplementation, but if you're someone who your healthcare provider has put you on a supplement, then making sure that you um, supplement your iron and calcium separately. Okay, so that brings us to iron. So iron is abundant in many animal meats, and in terms of veganism, it can be found in soybeans, lentils, um, tofu, tempeh, so it's primarily found in um, meat alternatives. And another thing with iron, okay, so we already discussed, don't consume it with calcium-rich foods. Also, whenever you consume iron, particularly since you're getting the iron from plant-based products, then making sure to consume it with a vitamin C rich food. And I know this can kind of get confusing, 
But um, so when you're consuming iron, don't consume a whole lot of calcium when you're consuming iron. Do consume vitamin C. Okay? Um, so then the next one is vitamin D. So this is for people who don't live in a warm environment, who don't get their sunlight every day. And vitamin D is fortified in non-dairy milks. It's also fortified in two mushrooms. So making sure to get your vitamin Ds every day is super important for your bones and for your teeth. So the next one is zinc, which zinc is important for our immune system. And again, it's typically found in animal products. But if you're a vegan, then making sure you're getting your legumes, nuts, seeds. It can be found in oatmeal and breads and tempeh. Um, no single plant-based food is super high in zinc. So it's important to, to consume a wide variety of these products. So then last but not least is your omega-3 fatty acids and this is important for decreasing inflammation in your body and foods that have omega-3s that are vegan foods are walnuts, canola oil, olive oil, um, almonds, and also ground flaxseed. And what's important about that is making sure if you are going to do the flaxseed, making sure it's already ground and not in the whole form. Because once it's in the whole form, then it just goes straight through your body. But if it's in the ground form, then your body absorbs the omega-3s and you get the benefits of it. Okay, so those are the nutrients that I want y'all to be aware of if you're a vegan, if you're planning on becoming a vegan. I mean, for the most part, making sure that you're getting your non-dairy milks, non-dairy yogurts, making sure you're getting your nuts, seeds, legumes, green leafy vegetables, um, and of course your fruits and vegetables, then you'll be fine. So hopefully after this video you've learned a little bit. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask them below. Feel free to contact me. I'm pretty good about responding. And if you like this video, check out my other videos on my channel and feel free to subscribe. And I'll hope to see y'all soon. Bye.